Time for Veterans Issues, the show that brings you information about veterans, military, and their family. Now here's your host, Ken Rollins. Welcome to Veterans Issues. Ken Rollins here, and we are brought to you by the Red, White, and Blue and the Kia stores of Anniston and Rainbow City. That today we're going to talk about something that's getting close to Christmas time. They're back again. If you come every year, we're going to talk about Toys for Tots with the Marine Corps League. You stay where you are. I'll be right back. Welcome back again to Veterans Issues. Appreciate you tuning in this week. It's getting close to Christmas time, and it's that time of the year when we got to talk about the little ones out there and Santa Claus are coming. If I forget, uh, Santa Claus will be here next week, so... Uh, it's good to preempt it with having the Marine Corps League in here. We're going to talk about Toys for Tots. we got Dan Long and Dave Grice. Is it Grice or Grease? Grice. Grice. I yes, got sir. it first. It, yes, sir. You got it, it right. It be pronounced Grease. Yes, sir. Welcome to the show. See that? You like that? Yes, sir. That's we've been, good. We've been working on that. We, Dan's over on Dan Long. Is, Dan's a uh, co-host of the show. Sometimes he's been here so many times. But Dan is the commander of the East Alabama, East Central Alabama Young Marines. And uh, you're the... Dave here is the coordinator for the Toys for Tots. I made myself some notes because I want to make sure we get all this. And I want to give you a website out there. That's why I said the pen. Let me give you the website. And uh, let's get that, get that to start with. It's Aniston-AL-Toys-for-Tots, all one word, toysfortot.org. That's Aniston-AL-Toys-for-Tots.org. Now, uh, either one of you answer these questions. This Toys for Tots, this is the official Toys for Tots for the area because there's lots of people got different things raising for kids. Yes, sir. You're, how do they know that yours is it's the real one when they see a donation play? Uh, with the boxes that actually says Toys for Tots, it's not done by pencil, it's not done by hand. It is. It comes straight from the foundation for Toys for Tots. You can see the white and red boxes out there that says Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots. Do you know that's okay. real? What it says the Marine Corps Reserve. Yes, sir. Yeah, Reserve. Because I seen somebody was having something the other day off of Facebook out of a golf course, something uh, to bring some toys for the kids and stuff like that. And people, people, when they say toys, they automatically think they're going to go to that same bunch of kids. But, um, had Dan, you you've been in this, and I know Dave is the coordinator, but but how does that how does that work? How does it work? You people want to give to the Toys for Tots, they want to make sure, or you one of you can answer it, they want to make sure it goes to these special kids, the kids that are designated for Toys for Tots. Well, like, Dave, well, like what Dave said, there was the boxes that we have all over this community. Uh, the thing that people need to remember is on the box is a, is a poster that comes from the foundation that has Santa Claus on it, okay? At the bottom of that poster has an address and a phone number, okay? That tells you that those toys in that box are going to go to that address and that phone number, which is here locally. A lot I want to ask uh, Command Central if they would bring up that uh, poster too while we're doing this. But, but a, lot, a lot of people think that the toys are going to, like in Bessemer, because they watch another TV station mm -hmm. and they see the advertisement because that TV station supports that particular one over there. But it's not going to Bessemer, they're not going to Jefferson County, they're going here. And if you listen really closely to that TV station, they'll tell you that there's drop-off points throughout Central Alabama, which is including here, too. Dave, you could have said the one with a little choo-choo train on it. I'm looking at the one that... Uh, oh, yes, sir. It, it, it says choo-choo. It's got a big choo-choo train with Toys for yeah, Tots. Yeah. That's our too. official logo for for Toys for Tots is the choo-choo train. Okay. So let's get let's get down to some... Uh, do the either one of you... I'm going to throw these out there. Do the kids ever... First of all, where do you find these kids? How do you know? We do applications, spread it out through the county um, so that uh, the parents can come in uh, and they fill out an application and then we know that, that, that they need help. It's advertised on the radio, it's advertised on television so we can get the application to get the children. You want to know how many boys, what the age they are? Yes, sir. How, how, uh, like in the family, we need to know how many boys, how many girls, uh, their ages and what kind of toy they would like to have. We try to buy them at least one toy they'd like to have within a reasonable limit. No Mercedes-Benz. No Mercedes-Benz, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. And then all the toys that we collect through the county that they put in the boxes goes into a big warehouse and they go on the table at age appropriate. 
So we buy you one specific toy that we can buy you, and the rest of everything else comes from the county that the uh, uh, individuals and the county provides for us. Yeah. I went by some of the boxes, and some of them look pretty full. Do y'all have to, certain days, you, or do you, they just call you when it's full? Or yes, sir. They, it, what it, we have certain pickup days, but if they call us and it's full, we'll come get it. We'll be well, glad I'd to come get to it if it's full. Doesn't. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> this uh, is it. Can you tell yet how it's doing this year? Is it? Um, we're doing okay as far as toys. Uh, the toys are coming in uh, with, with different distributions from the foundation. Also, uh, I think applications are down, and uh, we try to think maybe the economy is getting better. But if you look around, the economy is not any no. better. But you know, it's amazing how the public comes together. You're talking about and the foundation. You keep mentioning foundation. What are you talking about? The actual foundation of Toys for Tots. That's okay. how we know that everything is local. We are actually a part of the foundation. That's gotcha. you. So it, you know, we work with the foundation, and you know, the public just is amazing how they come together and actually give us the toys and things we need to actually supply, you know, all the kids in the county. Uh, we had toys left last year. You did. Yes, sir. I could have used them. I don't yes, have sir. any toys. Yes, sir. If you you do. remember me then. You, you got, got a, you got got a track vehicle. I got a track there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. For Christmas. There you go. Big toy. That, huh? hey, Dan, it's, uh, the young Marines are, are involved in it, uh, probably up to their ears, because uh, last year I remember they were passing out toys and stuff like that. Is it, what all do y'all do, you and your Marines? Uh, the young Marines helps Dave wherever he requests us to help. For an example, this last weekend, they did have a golf tournament going on that was sponsorship for the Toys for Tots program. So we're trying to teach the kids is, is two things. They go out and they help him to do this thing, various things we do, like carrying golf clubs to the carts, uh, passing out water, whatever he wants done for the kids to do, they do. Um, we got other events coming up that he's going to tell you about that the young Marines will be there to help him because these are kids learning, plus these kids are telling you, look, we want to help, we, we're out here to help get toys for other kids that are less fortunate than us. And they're supporting them. We're teaching them to be you know, the leaders in America to do that, okay, and that's part of what we do for the for those. And then, and then the big day, of course, to be honest with you, on the 19th, what we really need, as young as me and Dave are, we need those younger ones to help us yeah. <laughs> carry, those, what? carry the packages out okay. the door. Okay, yeah. I, I was going to say, do they get to actually uh, put the toys in, in the hands of the kids, or do they get to give to the parents, or? They, no, assist. They, they assist. They assist in that assist. process. Yes. They yeah. assist and hand them to the parents. Some of the parents bring their children because they have no place, you know, right. nobody to keep them. I guess. But most of the parents come in without the kids, you know. And then the young Marines will will carry the bags out to their vehicle and put it in the car once everything is approved uh, inside the warehouse before they leave. It's a good lesson in that, wouldn't it? Yes. A good lesson in giving that you're, yes, sir. you're letting them. Instead of coming out there taking something, uh, it's just so much me, me, me world nowadays. Mm -hmm. that, yes, sir. But uh, I've, I've often talked about I'd never think there'd be a group that would follow us old Vietnam veterans or the Iraq, Afghanistan veterans and carry on. But these kids are our, our future. I mean, they, they are there to do all those kind of things. They're learning so, so many uh, characteristic things that that's going to benefit them in the future. They're not... I need to let people know they're not into young Marines to become Marines necessarily. No. But they're learning uh, principles and character and stuff like that and, and morals and scruples and things that they, uh, that we don't. Uh, talk. we got to go to a break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to talk more about Toys for Tots with Dan and Dave. Be right back. Welcome back. We're talking with the uh, folks from Toys for Tots. we got Dave Rice, and we got uh, Dan Long on the end down there with them. And we're, we're talking about the young Marine. Dan, I'm going to go back to you a minute. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Let me, let me go with Dave because I have something I wanted to ask earlier. But uh, do you do you take uh, for this website or for the phone number? And you, we got the phone number on the screen for you. Is it somebody wants to end of the year and for tax purposes, they just want to make a financial donation. They don't want to go shop for toys or that kind of thing. They just want to make a financial donation because they know the history of Toys for Tots. 
if you if you don't know the history of Toys Tots, you've been asleep for a long time. But yeah. anyhow, <laughs> whether it was your, not your group, but the group before the out of Best of the Marines, the, the Marine Reserves over there, it's just been around for thousands of years, seems like. But if somebody wants to donate, make a donation, they can give a monetary donation also. Yes, sir. There's a you can go online into that website, and when you go in there, they ask if you want to make a donation. And you can make a donation in there. And when you make a donation, you specifically make sure that that donation is wrote on for Anniston, Alabama. That's what I want to make sure. Because that way it stays local. If you don't put Anniston, Alabama on it and it goes into the headquarters, they will they will use it in headquarters. All right. Let me uh, put you on the spot. What would be an example of what you could use the money for? Um, we use the money for toys. Okay. We buy toys through the, uh, you know, uh, we are allowed to spend certain amounts for certain things, but we have to have the money. We have to have donations come in to give us the money. Uh, you know, like you, like when you run a business, you need papers and you need envelopes and stuff like that. Well, we're authorized to buy them because we have to send letters out to each and every family that qualifies for the toys. So we buy the envelopes and the stamps to send them out to them. And that's the only the, thing we use. Where are some of the most prominent places around the Calhoun County area that you find them? Dan, you know, or you all know where they are, where the locations are? Some of them are just off the top of your head. For, uh, uh, all the independent car lot dealers have a box. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. A um, lot of the um, uh, Dollar Generals have them. Walgreens have them. Um, and the big box stores have them. Um, Walmart, well, big lots of stuff. It's very difficult to get the yes. boxes in there because of the association. Uh, they stopped doing that years ago. The Walmart they did. allow us to set outside and collect money that we need and we okay. that way, okay? And there's a grant you can apply for with the big box stores uh, that we can apply for and get, which we have here locally. But mo most of the boxes are in, like even title maxes. I, we, yes. I got one in Jacksonville at a barber shop. You know, there are places that make it easy for a person to stop by and drop off a toy. Mm -hmm. Sunny King, okay, Sunny King's got several car lots down here. They're really good about putting out boxes and stuff for As us. As we're so. doing this show, there's still time somebody to put a box out there if they wanted to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They can. Because, you know, Dan, uh, the flags that we did, yeah. we got a little place, Dave, down on uh, 15th Street where the old 911 used to be. And it's just a box there, and, and people drop off their old uh, unserviceable American flags. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Marine, young Marines, they, they respectfully uh, destroy those properly every flag day or whenever. And that thing, it's off of the beaten path, but when once people know it's there, I mean, we don't have a problem getting flags every year, do we? No, <laughs> and that's the other thing, King, the website you gave out, uh -huh. there is a list of where these places are. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could go to that Aniston's da dash yes. mm -hmm. A L dash. And find one Toys close to your house. Like they, they said they're all over the county. Uh, we have some schools that are participating where they had drives at schools because it's another thing with the kids helping out. You know, uh, if I may, there's a couple of things that uh, our workers down at the warehouse told us to make sure we got out here as far as what they're looking for because they go through this paperwork. Me and Dave don't see it as far yeah. as what they're asking for, but they go through and they look at what we're looking for. Uh, one thing is arts and crafts that people don't think about, the kids love to have. The small arts and crafts sets, you know, pins and pencils and stuff. Another thing, believe it or not, is we're getting a lot of newborns coming, okay? So what now? Newborns, newborns, babies, okay? And these people need diapers. Okay. Baby diapers, okay, that's, not, that's, not, a, that's not, not a toy, but those are things that you can put in a box and we'll take them or you call us. Yeah. And of course, one of the big things is that kids put on there is bicycles. Kids love to have bikes every year. Uh, we have a list of these kids that want bikes and stuff, and we're working with some people on it. But if you as an individual, and I challenge every vet out there, every vet in this county, to bring me a bike at that there address, or call me and I'll come and pick it up. Dan Long, United States Marine Corps, challenges every veteran to go bring them a bicycle. Don't go on it now, get to get a bicycle, but get a <laughs> boy's or a girl's Good bicycle and, uh, and bring it to... Just a toys drop, drop you, off? You can call out the numbers or the, the on the website there's an address. We're downtown, I'll tell you right now, it's 1112 Noble Street. Uh, or you can call me at my phone number, which is 256-310-6481, anytime, day or night, and we'll make sure we get or it picked get up. get in touch with me and I'll have them get Whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah. however. That, that, uh, does any of them 
asking for electronic things like iPads and tab tablets and things like that? Normally, no, because when we take when the, when the girls are taking the applications, we try we try to tell the people that that's impossible because yeah. when you and unfortunately when we get into the teenage age, which is the 14, 16 year olds, those are big things. But unfortunately, they also cost a lot of money, and it's very difficult. Now, if somebody wants to donate a bunch of them to us, we'll gladly take yeah, them because so. we can give them to the kids. But we yeah. can't buy them, and we we don't uh, make sure. You know, we're looking for toys. You know, trucks and tractors and some of the electronic cars as far as a little car to drive around the road with the stuff that you can buy uh, anywhere from, you know, 10 to $25 right in that bracket is where most people pay. I mean, toys are expensive nowadays. It's amazing what stuff yeah. costs nowadays. One of, one of the most uh, enjoyable things I got during the holiday season one time was serving Thanksgiving dinner to the troops out there that uh, they was eating out at uh, Anna Star Depot. <coughs> it's volunteers. Volunteers people that that work within this program picking up the toys or handing out the mm -hmm. toys uh, separating the toys uh, do you need people to do that we need help um, once we start bagging everything you know we we got I don't know how many families we have over 300 yeah, some 354 families, families so this year. 354 Four families, families. Yeah. Yeah. That's so families. Yes, sir. whatever kids they have we have to bag these toys and put it in the bags and we mark the floors and everything specifically where this thing goes so we can find it, you know, when it comes time to pass all this stuff out. And if somebody wants to volunteer to come down and help, you know, I mean, it's all volunteer. Yeah. We all volunteer our yeah, time. You know, we would, but we I'm would love to have But I'm talking about the self-satisfaction the person gets out of yeah. it, being able to, to yeah. be a part of. You know, you, it, it's like a chain and you become a link in that in mm -hmm. chain. I was the one serving the turkey and I got to, I got to. Did you eat most of it? No, I didn't. Eat <laughs> not, not while I served, but I did have a four-star general come through the line, and I thanked him for his service. And he looked at me like shocked. And later on, he came up to me or called me over to his table, and wanted me to know how much that meant to him. He said, "I've had 33 years in service; nobody's ever thanked me for my service." Wow. And you think about it: how many yeah. people walks up to a four-star? Sure. And said, thank you for your service. So I just treated him like I did the staff started that came before. So it's, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, we down to a minute. I need to make sure we got everything on here. Um, they, we got the address and everything. And said, um, the the young Marines, I got to give them credit that they're watching on this tape. How, how important it is for them to continue to do these things that uh, helping out in the community, the spirit of it, and these young kids that. These people are not down there asking for a toy because they're wealthy and, and can afford to get them all the things that they, they need. And this is this is such a good thing you guys do. Uh, I'm just proud to be out here telling people about it. I, kind of like Paul Revere running through the village. And mm -hmm. I'm just so, I'm just proud to be a part of knowing you guys, knowing what you do. I can feel what y'all feel when you when you actually put a smile on a kid's face. Dan, thank you for being on the show, buddy. You're welcome. Again, Dan. and you're always welcome back. You're welcome back again, too. Thank, thank you, Dave. Thank you. And thank you all for that, for what you're doing out there and putting a smile on these kids' faces. The toys for Tot, and I hope you've enjoyed that. Guys, if you got any questions about what you saw today, give me a call. My number's on the screen here at Wild. We'll get in touch with you. See you in a little bit. News that you can use is what I'm coming back with. Welcome back to Veterans Issue. Appreciate Dan and Dave coming on today and talking about toys for Tots. It's a great a great cause, and uh, every year it just uh, brings uh, smiles to so many kids' faces. If you're, uh, if you didn't get the information, the phone number, or whatever, just call me. I'm in the book. You can find me on Facebook. You can email me, whatever. Text me. Uh, you can, uh, and I'll give you the, uh, I'll give you the information on how to get in touch with them. And uh, and uh, we we need to make sure every kid. I think it said 354 families yeah, just imagine that just in our community here that that uh, need help and get make sure these kids to get this uh, and and I tell you what I have a challenge to do something we didn't get a chance to talk about it with them but go to get your kids together and say how about one of the toys that we got for you this year are going to get for you how about you giving up a toy and you take it down there and you put it in a box how about that wouldn't it be nice to let your children know what it feels like to help another kid. They don't have to do nothing but just drop it in the box and know that some other kid's gonna benefit. They may do without it. If you got a, a little Barbie doll for a girl, say, well, how about there's some little girl that don't have a Barbie doll. Just use it as a learning lesson, just a thought. Uh, I talk about, we brought to you by Kia, the Kia stores. And uh, down at the Kia stores, they're giving 
all for parts and service. Now, I understand that that's going real good. A lot of veterans are coming in there. Now, it's not just for veterans and military, but it's for first responders, too. Uh, Don Hobden and his folks uh, really have an awareness for and a care for the people that serve this country in uniform, no matter if it's uh, overseas, locally, or whatever. And uh, so it's for the veterans and military and the first responders. So 20% uh, off your parts service at the Kia stores. Uh, next week, I told you earlier that I don't have Santa Claus here. Santa's going to be here, so if you want to come down to the studio and bring your little one and meet Santa Claus, you're well, welcome to do that. So Tuesday, about 12, 12, 15 to 12.30 in that area, that time frame in there, come on down here to the TV24 studios, and Santa Claus is going to come in here, and he'll bring uh, Mrs. Claus with him. I don't know if she's going to be um, signing autographs, whatever. They're going to bring some toys and things that they carve, but some of the stuff at the elves make you'll be a, a good opportunity to meet santa right here at tv 24 studios in oxford uh next tuesday they, i don't know what day of the month that is but it's tuesday next tuesday <laughs> uh i, I t tell been telling you about every few weeks about the 22 uh, uh by the way that uh, they tell me in the control room at december the 1st 12 15 be here at the tv 24 studio 22 veterans take their life every day yesterday 22 took their life. Today, when you go to bed tonight, 22 veterans will have killed themselves. Just think about that, folks. A lot of reasons for it, but it's a lot of it has to do with PTS, has to do with uh, traumatic brain injury, has to do with economics. They can't get a job, can't find. If you really interested in that 22 number that I put out there on Facebook every day, I try to post it on my Facebook to remind people that today we're going to lose 22 veterans and tomorrow we're gonna to lose 22 veterans. And there is a way that we as individuals can help. If you've got a business out there, if you can employ a veteran and let him be able to take care of his family instead of being a loser, you can help. There's lots of ways you can do that. So I just wanted to, uh, that 22 veterans is a scary thing. I, I, it's awful to think that we've got losing that many veterans every day. If you've got somebody that can't see the show and that you're watching now and they don't have the cable one, uh, Look it up on WEAC TV 24 on your computer and go to the on demand button. You can pull up veterans issues and we're running out of time. Let me make sure I got, I want to, and, and when I was talking about Kia stores, I want this week's salute to go out to Don Hobson and all the folks down at the Kia stores for giving the veterans and the first responders as military uh, discounts. See you next week. Veterans issues.